GSK is a healthcare company. We work to produce pharmaceuticals, vaccines and consumer goods that save lives and treat diseases that are currently not being able to be treated. My name is Hajra Bibi and I am a R&D laboratory apprentice. I work in the screening group and that's basically screening a large panel of antibodies to its target, generating data and handing it over to the rest of the team to make decisions. The excitement comes from the fact that everything you're doing has potential to save lives and give someone their health back. When I first started, I couldn't enter the lab without a supervisor present purely because I didn't know how the lab operated. I'd never used a pipette before I started here. But now, after being here for about two years, I'm a lot more comfortable in my role. My supervisor is a lot more confident in letting me do a piece of work independently as well. My apprenticeship lasts for three years and it's a high level apprenticeship. So you work towards a university degree whilst working full time. I was applying to university to do biology and I sat in a sixth form assembly and I had a talk from an ex-student who now works in Unilever, which is a science-led company also. And they talked about their apprenticeship and they talked about all their experiences and the fact that they were still getting a further qualification. So it was a real eye-opener for me to take that route. I've always been a person that has preferred to do things hands-on and more practical. So I had that opportunity through doing an apprenticeship rather than going to university. There used to be like a negative stigma attached to the word apprentice, someone who'd go make the tea or probably do the filing if you were lucky, but that's just not the case. You really get stuck in, you can gain so much experience and actually do valuable work. I did not realise how important GCSEs are and what like the kind of basis that they provide um, to your CV, to you as a person and to a job application. So I say to 14, 15 year old me to kind of stay focused on your GCSEs, it will help.